This is a combined immunotherapy approach for children with relapsed or refractory neuroblastoma. And what we do is we take natural killer cells from one of the child's parents. So these are haploidentical natural killer cells. And we activate them and expand them in a GMP facility over the course of about 11 days. And at the end of that period, we divide the cells into four bags. One of the bags is infused fresh into the patient, and the other three bags are cryopreserved and can be infused at later time points. After we infuse the patient with the natural killer cells, we then administer an anti-GD2 immunocytokine. So this is an antibody that reacts with GD2, which is an antigen present on the surface of virtually all neuroblastoma cells that has been covalently linked to interleukin-2. So the advantage of using an immunocytokine rather than just a monoclonal antibody for this trial is that the immunocytokine can bind to the natural killer cell by two different mechanisms. It can combine to the, uh, combine to the natural killer cell either through the IL-2 receptor on the NK cell or through the FC receptor on the NK cell. In addition, the IL-2 will help keep the natural killer cells in an activated state. So we first infuse the natural killer cells, and then patients receive daily infusions of the anti-GD2 immunocytokine for seven consecutive days. This trial is unique for a few different reasons. One is that no one has combined ex vivo, expanded, activated natural killer cells with an immunocytokine to treat cancer before. And in addition, most of the immunotherapy trials that use natural killer cells provided by another individual, so allogeneic or haploidentical natural killer cells, have given a single infusion of the NK cells. And just as we don't expect to cure patients with a single treatment of chemotherapy, it's hard to imagine that a single infusion of adoptively transferred NK cells are going to have a clinically significant benefit. So by giving multiple cycles of the natural killer cells combined with the immunocytokine, we think we're really going to achieve maximum benefit for the patient.